it's uh, about a hitman that decides to become an actor starring Bill Hader. Ooh, that actually sounds pretty good. I think I saw that and advertised on YouTube. It is very good. It's an HBO show. It's really, really good. What else does HBO have now that Game of Thrones is gone? Barry, Chernobyl, the new Chernobyl Watchmen series. Chernobyl was just a series. miniseries, though. Yeah. What was the uh, last one you said, Lucas? There's a new Watchmen series that's coming out, I think, next, or might be this week. That one seems week. a little weird. That doesn't seem like normal Watchmen, either. No, I think it's, like, post the comic book, or the original comic book, what the movie's based on and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, His Dark Materials looks interesting. I think that's James McAvoy and the guy from Hamilton. Uh, I don't know the guy from Hamilton, but James McAvoy is always good. That's him. Wait, what's his name? Lin-Manuel Miranda. Cool. Yeah. All right, so let's quit doing an ad for HBO. Um, Hashtag not an ad, but if HBO, if you you want an ad, if you want an ad... You can have it. Um, <coughs> but anyways, welcome back to another episode of Better Than Static. I'm here with my two friends. I'm your host, Tyler, and my two friends are Lucas. Hey. He's sleepy boy. Um, and Chris. Sweetie, sweetie, I'm coming for the booty. Thanks, Trey. You heard it here first, folks. Chris is coming for that booty. Um, oh, gosh, Lucas, what the heck is that? It's the arm to my chair. Okay, it looked really weird, and I don't want to describe it the like audience. It looked like a big piece of sushi. <laughs> if the audience had seen that. It kind of does. Uh, it also like looks like something with else. sticking out the end. I know, that's why I did it. Yeah. Um, if I do that in. Or a big John Eclair. <laughs> like a big John Eclair or cannoli. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's black for whatever. It's burnt. It's dark chocolate cannoli. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Well, um, so Chris, we were talking about shows earlier. Lucas said you were watching Barry, and you said that's good. Yeah. Chris, you said you started Chernobyl, right? Yeah. I'm, I like history, and I like st- stuff that goes wrong. Yeah. So, so Chernobyl's started, everything. Yeah. yeah. It's really I'm good. starting Chernobyl once I finish Barry. Is there only one I'll season s- of Barry out right now? Two. Two, yeah. That's cool. So I'm... I watched all of season one on Sunday. <laughs> well, that means and, it's good because uh, <laughs> if you put up with it like that whole day, that's good. Uh, yeah, and uh, I'll no ho Hank. Oh, I'm sorry, just real fast on Barry, and then we'll go back to Chernobyl. No ho Hank may be one of the greatest TV show characters ever created. No ho Hank. No ho Hank. Wait, it's like no ho one thing, like no ho. Or is it yeah, no, okay. like no hoes, like no thoughts? No, like no ho. I don't know. They call him no ho. I don't know what it stands for. Good look as you watched uh, all of season one, you should know what it stands for. It doesn't stand. Like, they just call him no ho Hank. He's a Chechnyan. He's part like the second in command of the Chechnyan mob in the show. And he's just the nicest guy. Like there's no other way to explain it. That's pretty cool. But, like, yeah. wait, hold on. Where's Chechnya, Chris? Chechnya is, a, is an area around Ukraine and Russia. It's not a country in itself. It's a region. Yeah. Uh, okay, so do we know? Do you know where Crimea is? Relatively, yes. It's roughly. Well, hold on. I don't want to speak out my butt here. Let me look it up real quick. Is, are the Chechnyans the ones that took kidnapped Liam Neeson's daughter? Those are just <laughs> generic Slavic people. No, I think they were the Chech. I think like they said the Chechnya mob like yeah Chechnya is I'm I'm a I'm a it's completely it's completely somewhere else. Well, Chris, you can't say that. Delete that then. I will. I'll just bleep it out. It's actually a region of Russia, but it's on the border of Georgia. I'm that's completely farther. That's I'm an idiot. Never mind. I I think the Chechnyans are the ones that took Liam Neeson's daughter. And they said, good luck. And then he had to go after him. Off of that one sentence, he found out who it was and killed the person. Um, but what else? You said, okay, so before we start, or before I start recording, you said you watched two other shows and then you got into Chernobyl? Or have you yes. not started Chernobyl yet? 
I've watched the first two episodes of Chernobyl. Okay, what were the other two shows you watched? I watched a show called Bodyguard on Netflix. It's, oh, with Rob Stark. It's so good. Oh, for real? It's fantastic. Really? Okay. Fa- I thought it looked really stupid, no, like dude, from the promotional dude, stuff. Dude, it's okay. awesome. It's only six episodes. How long is each episode? And uh, like a little under an hour. That's pretty good. I want a golden. Glo- he won a golden globe for that. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. That's pretty hey, good. I'll have to watch it then. It was, dude. Is it on was, HBO or is it, you said it's on Netflix? It's on Netflix. Yeah. It's on Netflix. So. And what was the other one you said? I started watching Umbrella Academy. I don't like it. Oh, uh, it's bad. It's really bad. I like the first couple episodes. Episode I was okay with. I can't get into this. Like I could hang okay. it with the first couple episodes, and then it got super weird. I didn't like the first couple of episodes. I watched the first, I think, four or five. I didn't even make it that far. Yeah. Whenever everybody kept like, well, everybody kept talking about it whenever it first came out. So I was like, oh, I'll, you know, I'll give it a shot. And it just never. Uh, it not like it's doing anything. Exactly. Like, yeah. No. Yeah. What's happening. I finished it. And I'm kind of sad that I finished it because they net nothing. Yeah. And it's like, well, the kid that time travels, this is spoilers. I don't, I guess, I don't even know if it's really a spoiler. He time travels. He knows the world's about to end. And then they're like, oh, how can we help? And he's like, I don't need your help. Yeah. (laughs) It's kind of weird. And like, like, wait, what? It's a comic, isn't it, or something? Yeah. It's based off a comic. I don't know it's who makes the comic. Like, Ellen Page isn't doing anything. It's like, she's extremely hard to watch. Yeah. yeah her character is uh, just whiny. Like, you, like, if Ellen Page... Okay, so when she was in Inception, she was good. And then when she was in Juno, she was good. Beyond Two Souls. No I'm kidding. Was... <laughs> and then, like, Super, she was funny. She had some weird parts. But Ellen She's Page good and super. Like Ellen Page can be good. It's just in, in Umbrella Academy. It's like, oh, poor what was me. Blah. Samantha's gonna I listen to that and be like, I tell her that all the time. Like, yeah, she's like, I play the violin. <laughs> rah, rah, rah. But like, it's nothing. I don't. I like the show. I don't know. I watched it because like I got into three episodes in and I'm like, okay, I can hang with this. And then like fourth episode hit and I'm like, I'm not about it anymore, but I'm already this far in. So I'm going to just keep watching to say I did. Now, let me tell you what show bangs. Um, freaking Stranger Things because I'm rewatching Stranger Things season two. Samantha doesn't think she has seen it, but she's remembering a lot of it. So technically she might be rewatching Stranger Things season two, but like I was wanting to get ready for Stranger Things season three coming out like at the first week of July. So I was like, I want to be ready for that. Comes um, out the fourth, doesn't it? Yeah, it comes out on the fourth. Um, we, so still speaking of Netflix stuff, um, the siege of J It's a movie about how the UN intervenes in the Congo with Irish troops. It's it's pretty good. It's pretty pretty good. Um yeah. Check it out. Do check that out and then Highwaymen. Watch Highwaymen from uh, Oh, Netflix. is that the one? Is that the one with Ben Affleck and all those dudes in it? No, no, that's no. Triple Frontier and it's also good. Uh Highwaymen is Kevin Costner uh, and Woody Harrelson. Yeah. Yeah, Kevin Costner, Woody Harrelson and it's uh but it's about Bonnie the, and Clyde. Well, it's about the uh, Texas Rangers that hunt down Bonnie and Clyde. So it's from oh, the perspective. Wait, what? No, it's not about Walker Texas Rangers. <laughs> it's about the Texas Rangers. Ooh, exactly. I know it was pretty good. I liked it. I liked it. Yeah. Um, I want to watch it. I want to watch it and the Ted Bundy thing with Zac Efron and Lily Collins. The only way I'm halfway tempted to watch it is that I've been in one of the places they filmed that. It's not. There's a scene where he like leaves. And he's like running out of a jail or something. And it was filmed at a church in Northern Kentucky. Are you talking about the Ted Bundy <laughs> stuff? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I was like, I don't remember that in Highwaymen, but uh. I'm like, eh. yeah, no, no. I do want to watch Highwaymen. I've heard it's really good. I've the, I was going to watch the Ted Bundy stuff of uh, this past weekend. But I haven't heard good things about it, so I was yeah. 
Sean apparently it doesn't make him look like a bad guy. Well, yeah. apparently he was like the people. Oh, he was he, he, he was very lockable. Yeah, that's as what I was about to say. Person. And yeah. that's kind of what made because even whenever like he was in trial and stuff, he still had like a big like fan group and stuff like that. Which I mean, so did Charles Manson. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, that, I don't people get like it. well, even speaking of that stuff in like Hollyman, Bonnie and Clyde had the same following. Yeah, Granted, they weren't the same type of criminals. Well, they were all killers. I mean, they were not the, I guess not the same type, you know, they didn't secretly kill over 40 people. But like, they were still career, criminals. They were still criminals and murderers. I think they killed that many people at least. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I haven't really read a whole lot on Bonnie and Clyde. I have seen many of shows or like mini series about it. So I, I, I thought I knew a lot about it, but I couldn't tell you some of the stuff that they talk about in Highwaymen, which I thought was really cool. It is a new perspective. You said it's it's from the perspective of the Texas Rangers, which you're right. Yeah. And it's 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 not it's not boring or anything, but like it's a lot of driving and like them trying to figure out where Bonnie and Clyde's gonna hit next and it's really good. I liked it a lot. Um yeah. I mean, if I feel like you could put Woody Harrelson in front of a camera driving and just let him talk, and it would be entertaining. So, and my mom watched it, but mainly because Kevin Costner, because she's a huge Kevin Costner thing. But I don't mean this mean, nor do I mean it mean towards Woody Harrelson. But they're freaking old, or they at least look old in in Highwaymen. Yeah, I mean, I know Kevin Costner's getting up there. I'll Google it real fast. Um, my parents, I walked in, this is going to sound weird, I walked in on my parents, um, they were watching a Woody Harrelson whoa, movie. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> um, I, they were watching a Woody Harrelson movie off Netflix called The Duel, and it had Liam Neeson in yeah. it, or not Liam Neeson in it, Liam Hemsworth <laughs> Liam in Hemsworth. it. Yeah. About, uh, oh, what's the name of the town? H- uh, Hannah or something? H- Havana? I don't know. I don't know, but I just walked in on this Woody Harrelson Helena? monologue. I think it's Montana. Helena. Helena Montana? I don't Capital. know. Because I, I think it's the Helena duel where they tie each other. They tie themselves to each other with a rope that's like three feet long or something like that. And they take out pocket knives. And whoever is left standing at the end of it wins the duel. That's a pretty hardcore and, duel. Yeah. So, like, it's not to say it's funny, but the first time they, like, the movie opens up with. Uh, Woody Harrelson and I think it's Woody Harrelson and some other guy doing the duel and like they're just like standing there and then they say go and they both just like start stabbing each other in the shoulder over and over and over and it's just kind of like okay I feel like this could go forever yeah Kevin Costner is 64 years old and Woody Harrelson is 57 so they I mean they're like for for me like old old is 72 70 but like mediocre old is 55 up yeah i mean you're not an old fart at that point you're not old fart but you're not you're not young it's also how it's also a state of mind and a lifestyle and an attitude that's true and in highwaymen they keep up the attitude of not being old yeah you know woody harrelson's only three years older than keanu reeves (laughs) what the frick keanu reeves looks like he's like 40 I think he looks younger than that. Well, I mean, just knowing what all yeah. like how many movies he's been in, you can see him kind of age a little bit, but not a whole lot. So just like there, I'm just like he's probably forty. Also, yeah. you know who's also looking good? Uh, speaking of John Wick, like of uh, Keanu Reeves, John Wick, Halle Berry looking good still. Yeah, and she's probably fifty. Yeah, I would think so. You know, Lawrence I'm, Fishburne. I'm on deck. Lawrence Fishburne's probably like seventy. Lawrence no. Fishburne is 57. No. He's oh only God. three years old. He, lo- he looks so old. I know. That's, that's so mean to it. say, but it's he looks so old. Okay, so with the rumors a few weeks ago of that they were making a new Matrix movie with a young uh, a young uh, Morpheus played by Michael B. Jordan. Ooh, yeah. That, that old that was like right there. Okay, Uh how old was, you know, Lawrence Fishburne whenever he played Morpheus? He was like twenty eight. 
<laughs> he did. He looked older. Or he might have been like 30, 31 or something like that. The youngest I've seen Lawrence Fishburne look was in that Instagram video Chris showed me where he goes, Whoa! That's not him. It's like, not? It looks exactly no, like him. No way that's him. I, it, I'm, it could be him. What? I doubt it's him. Lawrence Fishburne is in Apocalypse Now. Yeah? He must have been a baby. I had no idea. Okay, think about that. If he was only 20-something in, the, what, 2002 or whenever no, that movie came? 1999. If he was 20, that well, Apocalypse Now came out in, like, what? Well, he was almost 30 in that. He, he was, was 28. 14. He was 14, okay. He was 14 in Apocalypse Now. So he looked My like good. he was 22 at that point. No, <laughs> no I, w- I wouldn't recognize him. I've watched that movie a few times and I never knew that was Lawrence Fishburne. Okay, so Halle Berry is 52. 52? I was close with 50. She's still looking good. Um, Do you want me to to blow your mind here? Okay, have both of you seen Pitch Perfect? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you know the woman that played Fat Amy? Yeah, Rebel Wilson. She's 39. There's no way. She is 39. She looks like she's 28. I know, she's 39. Rebel Wilson, the the, the blonde chick. Fat Fat Amy. Yeah. She's, she's 39. 39? Dang. I, I know. Guess that. She's also got a law degree. Uh-uh. Really? Yeah, from some university in uh, Sydney. Well, I mean, that makes sense. She's Australian. Well, it's like, it's crazy how many actors actually she's have degrees. She's got a Bachelor of Arts and a Bachelor of Law. Isn't Natalie Portman have like a geology degree or something? Hold on a minute. Somebody has a... I got you. I think somebody, some actress that looks like, I think it's Natalie Portman has a geology degree because my geology professor in college is like, you'll never guess which one of these celebrities has a whatever degree. But yeah. Okay, I have a correction. Lawrence Fishburne was 38 in The Matrix. Okay, that's, okay, that's I yeah. Like, Holy moly. <laughs> yeah. Because that, he looked pretty, like he looked kind of old in that one. So that means Keanu Reeves was 35 in the matrix <laughs> and he's uh, like he looked like he looked like he was fresh off bill and ted's uh excellent adventure exactly okay portman natalie portman has a bachelor of arts in psychology from harvard no. i'm gonna find out who it was that geology degree i can't remember right off the top of my head also why are we talking about how old people are we're kind of old just, now uh, it, it's just like surprising yeah some people there was something I was wanting to talk about with Netflix that I was wanting to watch. I can't remember what it was. Oh, yeah, The Duel. I wanted to watch The Duel. I walked in on the monologue with Woody Harrelson, like, somewhere in that, and I heard that monologue, and I'm like, I want to see Woody Harrelson as, like, a bad guy. That sounds awesome. Yeah. It's not, like, the greatest movie, but it's just, it's it's a fun watch. Like, it's not There's bad. Some, like, yeah, it's not bad. It's just not, like, it's just okay. My mom watched it, and she was at the dinner table, like, telling, like, my sister about it. And she goes, yeah, we watched some movie with Woody Harrelson and Channing Tatum. And I looked I looked at my mom and go, <laughs> I didn't see Channing Tatum in, like, the two minutes I watched. She goes, yeah, you did. He was sitting in that chair with a double barrel shotgun. I go, that's Liam Hemsworth. She goes, no, that's a Channing Tatum. I said, she's like, nope. you don't know you didn't watch that movie. I said, I might have ought to have watched that movie, but I could look at somebody for two minutes and dang straight tell you that's Liam Hemsworth. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Liam Hemsworth and Channing Tatum don't look very similar. I, yeah, I don't Channing know. Channing Tatum it's... is. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> so I wonder how old Channing Tatum is. I'm going to say 32. No, he's older than that. He's 39. What? Really? Uh, I knew he was, because he was in, Step like, up. Step Up, and he was, wasn't She's he like all a, that. She's the man. She was yes, the yeah, she's, she's the, the man. man. Yeah, 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 you're right. right. He's he's been in, he's he's been in some good things, and he's been in a lot of not so good things. Yeah, give me, give me wasn't respect, he in? Huh? Wasn't he GI Joe? Yeah, he was in GI Joe. GI Joe. Let's go, Joes. He was in uh, Jupiter Ascending. <laughs> yeah, that one wasn't good. Also, so by the was Eddie Redmayne, and he was great. He was terrible in that movie. <laughs> Oh, hold on. I need to. Hold on. I need to do whatever. (laughs) 
<laughs> that was his performance Tyler for the entire movie. Joke, probably. I don't. Uh, what movie is that? You... Jupiter Ascending. No, I have not watched that. Don't. It's garbage. Uh, Isn't you Cara watch... De Levine in that too? No, that's no. Uh, Valerian. Valerian, it's yeah. Channing Tatum and Mila Kunis. And uh, Eddie, Eddie Redmayne just yeah. whispered through the entire movie. It's weird. Well, that's like, all he does. He doesn't actually talk. He whispers through everything. Have you no, seen? Eddie Redmayne's pretty you good. See? Did Have you, you see? We watched the Harry Potter movie. Yeah, tonight? he was great, but he whispered. He doesn't talk very loud. Oh, I was thinking uh, a theory of everything. Yeah, he was good in that. I watched. He that. was really good in that. Have I seen a theory of everything? What's that one? I don't know. Oh, that's the that's Stephen Hawking movie. I haven't seen that. Police yeah. movies. I just couldn't remember if I'd seen it or not. <laughs> um. Okay, so the same night that my mom was like that mixed up Liam Hemsworth and Channing Tatum, which I don't know how she did. My niece has gotten into jokes, and I sit down at the dinner table. And you want to hear the joke my niece told me? Let's hear it. She goes, what kind of bees make milk? Okay, what type of bees? Boobies. You're <laughs> young for a joke like that, ain't you? I know, but it was awesome. <laughs> it was hilarious. I'm like, I, does that mean that, she's the coolest four-year-old I know? <laughs> How many four-year-olds? Probably the only you know? four-year-old you know. <laughs> I think I know a couple more four-year-olds, but it's because like through people at church. I was, like, I was like, "How do you think you know four-year-olds?" <laughs> I mm, well, it's not could be six, could be sixteen, could be four. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that'd be like um, careful. Well, this is this is this is kind of a cut on your dad. Remember when you uh, when you like were telling me about when you and your dad go out in public, and he's like, "You could date her, Chris." And like it's like that's like a sixteen year old. And you're like, no, I can't, Dad. And he's like, yeah, sure you can. Oh uh, yeah, they all kind of blur, so I don't remember what specific instance this is now. So, well, I mean, it happens so much. But yeah. to be honest, my dad did oh. the same thing before I, me and Samantha were dating. You want that happened? Well, it didn't happen. He denies this, but I think he's just trying to save face. So we went to Lowe's last night to get a vacuum cleaner. I don't why he needed to bring me to Lowe's for a vacuum cleaner shopping spree is anyone's guess. But I was like, okay, fine. And I was like, I'll carry it because I'm a, I'll carry the box because I'm a good son. And we get up to the cashier, and I, I, this obviously wasn't planned because there's no way he could have known this would happen. But like, apparently, whoever was working the cashier was somebody he knew, obviously because he works there. Yeah. But it was a girl, roughly my age. And Dad's like, hey, this is a... I think her name was like Madison or something. And Dad, and Dad was like, hey, this is a Madison. She's a, she goes to First Baptist East Bernstein. I'm like, why do you know this? Well, because he you talks to me? his co-workers. Yeah, but like, why is he telling me this? I'm like, he just why didn't he Why didn't he just say, this is... She worked... I one of my co-workers, and she's like, hey, she's, he's like, hey, this is my son. I was like, don't say it like that. Don't say it like that. Why are you saying it like that? But is that? she your age or is she like younger than you? She's probably between 18 and 20, 25. So that's like okay. I mean, I don't want to do that. If he's going to do that, I don't want to be there for it. It makes me so uncomfortable. Yeah, no, that's why he wanted you to go with him to get the vacuum cleaner, you dummy. No, 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 no. He would, how would, no, no, I'd get, no. He, no couldn't he, he couldn't have planned that. He couldn't have planned that. I mean, I know your dad and I would also think that. But also, why else would he want you to go vacuum cleaner shopping with him? I don't know. Maybe he wanted to spend time with his son. I don't know. Here's the thing. If my dad wanted me to go to Lowe's to get, like, a vacuum cleaner, he would tell me, go get a freaking vacuum cleaner, one that doesn't suck, and then, like, bring it home. You you, you need a vacuum cleaner to suck. All right, Lucas, you can leave the podcast now. (laughs) Look, I was going to make the same joke. (laughs) And I would have told you the same thing. But... I don't know. That's here's the thing. Too much of that lines up. He knows too much about her, and you know what I mean. Like it's it's too. I don't, I, I I disagree. I think, I think I think he knew she was working. There's no way it was planned. I think he knew she was working, and it and it and it, it happened. Like it, that's what his plan was, and it went through fruition. Mm. Disagree. 
I mean, disagree all you want. I'll let the audience, I want comments. I, I if you think Chris's dad playing this, I want you to comment it on like the YouTube video, on the iTunes episode, whatever you're listening to it on. I want to hear it because I think it's, I think it was planned. I'm going to give Kenny some credit. He trying to get his, his son, a girlfriend and that was his way of doing it. I'm just saying, I think I forget it. I, I just, I just think he it wasn't planned. I think it was probably just he took advantage of what was happening. Like he took advantage of like a, of a moment. Yeah. I'm with Chris on this. He so maybe he wouldn't have chose that, you know, that specific lane or whatever if she wasn't working it. Like, you know, may I'll give him that much credit. Maybe he seen her and was like, Oh hey, there Chris. was only like one lane open. Okay. Well, I was trying to help him out, but I don't think he was like, "Hey, Chris, let's go to Lowe's so I can coincidentally yeah. meet have you meet this person." He doesn't. He don't plan things like that. That's just not something he does. Well, maybe he, since he's been working there, maybe he. Here's the thing. Maybe she wanted to meet you, Chris. Maybe she planned it, and she wanted oh to meet God. you, Chris. Oh, no, it makes no sense. God. Maybe he talk. Maybe your dad talks you up. Maybe your dad's the opposite of every other dad. Well, I don't know. Maybe that's just my dad that doesn't talk you up. But anyways, like maybe your dad was talking you up and she was like, oh, well, I want to meet him. And then they made up the plan together. You are really reaching, I think. I think you're reaching for the sake of a conversation to last longer on this podcast. No, I, my, my sincere thought is somehow he has set it up. Now, I know who your dad is and I know what your dad is like. I think he's like he has some like ulterior motive. I think he's got. I don't know. I don't know if he if it was all by himself, but there has to be some kind of forethought to that. Because why else would you want your son to go pick out a vacuum cleaner with you? I mean, your all's dad never was like, "Hey, you want to go ride around?" And then go you to end the up store. Yeah, like he's like, yeah. "I gotta go to the store. Come with me." Yeah, no, my dad never did to... that. Our, okay. my, dad, my dad did that, did that all the time. Still Lucas, you, know, you know my dad wouldn't do that because my dad never came and visited me at college. Oh. Well, my parents <laughs> only came like twice. I mean, I just, I think I saw Lucas's parents more while I was at college than my own parents. Uh, yeah. see, when they I... came up a whole lot. They haven't been up to Lexington here recently, so I've been going to London like every weekend. Well, you're always welcome. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna like drive down there and back this weekend. I gotta pick up my car. I finally got it fixed. That's good. The box is back, yeah. baby. The box is back. So no you... more Equinox. <laughs> Have you been looking at other cars? Like, what do you like? Or are you just trying to wait till you get a house for that? Uh, once I get through school and all that stuff, then I'll see where all that stuff kind of kind of takes you. Yeah, it's a good plan. Good plan. Um, I, okay. So this is, there's not much of a transition here. I'm just, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to state the facts because, because no, no, it's not bad because we're talking about Lucas's financial plans. I don't know that he wants to talk about that on a podcast. Also, I don't know that people want to hear about that on the podcast. Oh yeah. It's you, Lucas. Sure. No, I wouldn't want to hear it. Yeah. Like, um, so you know how like glass, it was last month I was training and the, the super awkward thing happened where the dude asked me to eat lunch with him. And then I kind of just left. Mm -hmm. So this week I've been combating that of just leaving. Like I sat in the back of the room. As soon as he said, all right, you're just missed for lunch. I like pretty much bolt out of there. Um, because there are multiple, there there's three people I kind of know in this class and like not well enough to where you could have a whole lunch conversation. Barely enough for small talk between the sessions of the training. But anyways, I think it's ba Is it bad that I would rather eat lunch in my vehicle than than eat lunch with other people that I like? Would, like I don't know. Is nope. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, Kirby. So I worked at a place for two years. I'm aware. And was very good friends with one of my coworkers. Okay. Still talk to him to this day. And I would still go out to my car to eat lunch. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm normal. 
because, and I'll give you the reason why, because I always thought I was like, you know, I feel kind of bad because, you know, we talk, we have a lot in common. I talk to him all the time. We played Xbox together, like all that kind of stuff. But he always ate lunch at his desk. And it's kind of the same thing where I'm at now. There's a group of people that eats in the break room on the same floor, but where I, like where my desk is at now, but it's only like 10 steps away from my desk and that's not far enough. So I go all the way down to the, uh, to the cafeteria and eat. And, uh, I did that by myself for a long time and then we got a new guy and he goes down and eats with me. So that's cool. But is he cool or is he like, is he, is he a, I don't know. Is he a turd? No, he's cool. Is he the one that had the Funko Pops and you just realized it was uh, Hermione at the ball and not Cinderella? No, he was trying to help me figure them out. It was another person. Okay. Well, that's but... fun. I'm glad you're making new friends, Lucas. I was worried. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I work, I, normal day at work, I eat with people I work with. But it's Greg, who's been on the show, and then Robbie, which... Robbie's my age, and I know his mom. Like, his mom was one of my teachers. So it's people I'm comfortable with, and also they talk, so it's not awkward. My whole thing is I don't hate people. I just hate awkward silences because you. I, it's not that I don't like them. It's just, like, that person can't enjoy them. So something like something's got to change. But I don't also – they're probably uncomfortable, and I don't want to be uncomfortable, so I'm trying to – I'm trying to save both the parties from being uncomfortable when I do this. And I think it's successful because no, like it's not awkward for me eating in my car because I'm used to it. I had a whole stand up set thing about it and it worked <laughs> like people laughed at it. It's funny. But I, what, what it bugs me is, is when people are, are like, they saw that I ate by myself. They're like, well, you, I would have went with you. I'm like, no, that's not what I want. You don't want yeah. that either. You're just trying to be nice. And I'm not mad at you for it. It's just, you're not you're not thinking the whole thing through. Yeah, it's like if I would have if I wanted somebody to go eat lunch with, I would have asked. Exactly. It's not like I'm sad. I mean, I th- today I was sad because oh. I had to work very long, but I'm not sad. <laughs> I'm also sad because I'm at training. Like I don't like training. Trainings are sometimes boring. Yeah. It's not the fact that like. I hate eating by myself. I just, it's, it's a thing that happens and I'm used to it. But yeah. And if I'd known they would talk about how old celebrities are or like good Netflix things, that's different. Cause that's good conversation. I hope people you enjoy don't know that. What you just don't know what you're talking about. Well, you, here's the thing, Chris, you going to gamble? You a gambling man on that? Yeah. I, I don't, I don't have trouble with an awkward silence on lunch. I can pull up my phone and start scrolling if it gets weird. See, that makes it more awkward for me, I think. Because then you're blatantly telling that person, you're not good enough conversation to like for me to talk to you. You know what I mean? That's on yeah. them. <laughs> they should know the better. Permission. Yeah, that's on them for misinterpreting it. No, it's just, uh, I don't know. I've never really... I just, I'm always the type of person that I just kind of go and do what I want to do. And if that's not fine with you, then let me know. But if it is, then I'm going to do it. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> if that what? Makes sense. Wait, what did you just, I, that didn't make sense to me. What did you say? <laughs> I got lost like halfway through. Did it, you start that I, sentence and then not like think about where you were going to go with it? Yes, I did. That's like a straight Michael Scott. Okay. So I have a, I have a point, but I don't know how to make it. I'm the type of person that just kind of does what I want to do. Like if, if I'm like, Oh, I want to go do this. Or if I want to go eat by myself in my car or whatever, I'll just go do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I don't have to have like, you know, you don't have to have plans. You're just going to go do it because that's your base want. It's like if I'm sitting and eating lunch with somebody and a news, I, I know there's a news article that I want to read or something like, unless we're in active conversation. Uh, if it's like, like Chris said, a silence or something, I'll just pull it up and read it. And then maybe that gives me something to talk about. 
Well, at my at my normal lunch like group, I sit. I we, we'll talk for a little bit, and then as it's done down towards the end of my lunch, I'll scroll through Instagram real quick. Like that, that's normal. It's not the I've gotten bored with you. It's just the normal schedule now. Right. But yeah, I don't know. It's. <sighs> I don't want to say it's a problem with millennials, but guys, I think it's a problem with millennials. And I like I'm saying this not blaming them because I am one. I'm just saying this is a thing and it exists, but we don't necessarily need to fix it because we're becoming self-reliant people. We could we could live on an island. That would be awesome. <laughs> what if it's a, a sucky island? As long as there's no people there. Well, like, no okay, hold on, hold on. All right, good luck with the no food and no McDonald's to go to. I, I mean, do I? Hmm. I could live without a McDonald's. I could live without a McDonald's, well, but I do need food that is easily yes. obtainable. I could, I mean, I could like kill animals. I'm sure. I just. I'd love to watch that. Chris, do you know how many animals I've killed? <laughs> like <Do> three. You... <laughs> way more than three. I've ran. Yeah, he ran Four. over three. He ran over three cats. No, I've killed them with guns. Killed cats with guns? Why Not cats. Squ- well, I've killed one cat with a gun. I've killed because, squirrels and raccoons. Because. Possums. Possums. Doves. Why'd you kill a cat with a gun? Possum, uh... Wait, what'd you say, Chris? Why'd you kill a cat with a gun for? Uh, It had gotten eaten, like, pretty much demolished by a dog. Oh. And I put it out of its misery. Oh. I thought That's it was really the sad. most... I thought it was the no. most humane thing that could have happened at that That's point. That's fair. But yeah, I've also shot a dog. Ah, that really bummed me out. Oh boy. I'm sorry. You're the one that asked. I know. I know. You you egged on the conversation till it made it that point. Well, the problem the problem is I went to the I had to go. To, I also went. Dad also brought me to the pet store. <gasps> Did you get a pet? I wish. <laughs> No, he was buying flea collars for the cats because they're flea bags. And I was like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to You Look, ask the woman. I went and, like, sat with the cats that were up for adoption and talked with them and petted them. But that's, I think that's fine. Also, Chris, I think that's a great way to meet women. And I'm not being sarcastic, I swear. Oh, God. It was so sad, though, because one of the cats was four years old. Why didn't you just adopt him? He didn't have many years left. Make him happy. You know how often cat, you know how old cats live to be? Most no, cats get like, up for like 10 years. 20 years. Okay, well then why are you sad that he's four years old? I because, thought that's like, oh, he's nobody about to. Will nobody adopt adopts him. cats over a year old. Well, we found my sister's cat. Yeah, nobody goes out and adopts a cat that's like over a year old. Dude. Or really that looks like an adult cat. Uh, I think, as long, here's, here's my a, thing on cats. Cats are fine. My my whole if I was gonna adopt a cat, it would be not on the basis of how old or young it was. It's like how much, like how good is this cat? How well does this cat like me? To where I don't have to question if it likes me or not. I'm fine with it being aloof as long as I know that it likes me. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's. But the thing is, like kittens. <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah. But... <laughs> I don't know how else to explain that. Like, just... like, yeah. Like the thing is that, like, uh, is it's it's basically a it's basically like this puppy syndrome. It's the same thing that goes with like old dogs. People don't want to de- to adopt. Like it's just this thing with just like entitled people. Well, here's the thing. I'll adopt any dog. Like I, I love dogs. Dogs are that, that's my jam. You know what I mean? I'll adopt any dog. Now, cats, they just have to be nice and not buttholes. And like, I felt bad it. for the four-year-old cat because she didn't want me to touch her. I was like, oh, you poor baby. I know well, she's you trying are. to be self-reliant, Chris. She's a self-soother. I didn't understand that. I'm just saying that's what made me feel bad. She didn't want your patronage or your handouts. There's another cat that just was very affectionate. Did you adopt her? her? Was, oh, dude, if I could, I would have. I mean, I got 50 bucks to spare. I I I can't adopt animals the way I would want to right now because I live at home still. Um, cause yeah, if I had my own place, I would have adopted that cat straight away, dude. I, I probably would have. I probably would have adopted the four year old cat because she was the oldest one there. But 
My whole thing with Anna, like if then I would have felt bad because the other cat liked me. Oh my god! <sighs> he would have got both of them. <laughs> Probably would have ended up getting both. He's of them. actually second guessing why he didn't get both of them right now. I didn't get any of them. Well, like you wanted some of them though, and I can tell you wanted I mean, I just, it. I just, I, okay, sometimes like I feel like it sucks because like, like part of me like I like that like I have a, like I have a spot for animals. But, like, at the same time, it sucks because, like, I can't do anything about it all the time. And then also and you're just, vulnerable at those points because you want to tear up. Because, like, in the arms of the angel comes on and you're watching an ASPCA serious. commercial. I'm being serious, too. I tear up at those commercials. No, you're not. You're, you're making a joke about it. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm being serious. Like, uh, I'm being serious as well. It's a real struggle for me. Like, when I go. Those like, commercials a, are hilarious. Like, I just don't watch them. Like just t- change the channel. <laughs> I'm I am being I am being sincere right now. I feel like you're trying to mock me. Also, you've been sharing your screen for forever. Yeah, I know you're watching me in creative mode. Sorry. Yeah. Um. But I just like how do I explain this? It's like I just feel like I feel helpless sometimes when I can't do anything to help these animals because I don't have a place to put them. Well, Chris, one day you will have a place for these animals and you will have so many animals and they will love you and you will I love them a cat, one dog, and everybody will be happy. Go to the adoptive place and say, well, who, who's been here the longest? That's who I want. That's the one I want. Yep. Um, my dog's a rescue. He's a rescue out of Louisville. Um, my granny got him, but then she had to, she moved houses and uh, she couldn't take him with the new house. So I got him. And he's super cool. I love him. He the best. Also, moral of the story, you should adopt. Don't go buy new pets. Yeah, like, this is going to make me sound like a jerk, but if you buy buy like a, buy an animal, like, you're a, you're a jerk. Like, you're a jerk. Like straight Yeah, up. you're a straight turd. <laughs> also, spay and neuter your pets. If you don't, you're also a D-bag. I can't stand people that don't do that. Yeah. You're contributing to overpopulation. You're just and scum you're, between, you're you're making scum more the you're making more hungry mouths and yep. more unhappy animals if you don't spay and neuter. Yeah. Luckily, all the cats there were spayed and neutered. What I'm really happy about is this episode. We have a good like PSA. C- Congratu- that's good for us. I, I think we we did good this time. Um. Also, there was one that was called Action Jackson. Well, that's <laughs> dope. What yeah, color was he? he? He was, a, he was a orange tabby. That sounds like a straight Action Jackson. Dude, no. Like, he's like, like he a, was named that for a reason. He didn't sit still the entire time I was over there. Just moving all the time? He was playing with a paper towel roll. Oh, my gosh. I bet that was cute. Like he had, he, dude, he made his own entertainment. Can I also talk about my cat? Go for it. She's stupid. She doesn't. She's the only cat in the world that doesn't. That doesn't like laser pointers. She gets scared of laser pointers. Like we thought she was sad, so I, I went out and bought her pet, bought her toys. And I was like, "Oh, laser pointer! Cats love these. Can't stand it." Yeah, Chris was kind of bummed out at Dairy Queen last week after church. But after it was on a Wednesday $7 night. Laser. Yeah, but he kept on like trying to shine it on kids. Yeah, I know. I needed to use it. I needed to get his use. He's like, "I gotta get his money's worth." I do gotta get my money's worth, man. Um. Seven bucks for her laser pointer. I was gonna say something on that note. Sorry. No, you're good. It's not your fault. I just oh, forgot I what I was gonna up. say. Well, no, you didn't screw me up. No, I'm. Looking, I screwed myself up on this. Oh. On this I thought you were talking about you screwed me up. I'm like, no, I just forgot what I was gonna say. It's different. Um. Are we done talking about pets or not? We can be. I, I well, do. You, I mean, if you had other stuff, we don't have to huh? be. Really. Um. I was going to switch to, so graduation Saturday was this past Saturday. Um, and I don't want to, like, complain about South's graduation like a lot of people were from in Laurel County. But was wrong with it? it was just overcrowded, and they need to figure out some way to fix it. But have it in the front lawn. No, that'd yeah, be, that'd, no, there'd be so, that'd be so hot. That'd be so hot. I mean, what's the other option? Have two different ceremonies? What do you, well, they have two different ceremonies right now. No, no, he means for South. Oh, no. Yeah, for South. 
my whole thing is just sell tickets and like if you don't have a ticket you can't get in like each student gets so many well, tickets then, How about what this? about like underprivileged kids each First student child... gets the same amount of tickets and then you get to barter for more oh that's barter? a bad idea <laughs> <laughs> no, like, so, like, let's say I'm a kid, and I only, I'm only my two parents are coming. Like, my family's out of state or whatever. So, and then you have this kid that's got, like, three brothers and sisters or whatever. Well, they can ask me for tickets because I'm not going to use mine. Yeah, but, nah, I mean, dude. that's just not a good idea. Anyways, that's like not it's... what I was wanting to bring up about the topic. What okay. I wanted to bring up was everybody on Facebook that follows me knows I was there now. And it's yep. all... Yeah, Chris knows where I'm taking this. this. Yeah, because I was like, oh, there's Tyler. So I sat in a spot. um, Samantha's little brother graduated. Congrats to Dylan. Um, Dylan, if you're listening, congratulations. Proud of you. Um, I went and watched him to graduate and all the youth kids because I got like the youth kids too. Um, And I was sitting with Samantha's parents. Well, well, they had like killer seats. Like they were dope seats because I got to see all the kids come down the side and then walk across. Like, so I got to see the kids wave at them and then they, they went and got their diploma. But what I didn't realize was an awful seat because I was directly in the line of pictures from like of them getting their diploma. I'm just in the background with a straight face clapping. Like it's the most unflattering pictures of me ever. And (laughs) there's, there's 22 of them. And why does Facebook auto tag you? It's the worst invention in history. I shouldn't have to be tagged if I don't want to be tagged. Also, I'm in the background. Why would you tag me in that Facebook? Tag yourself. Do what? Can you not untag yourself? I can, but I don't want to go through 22 pictures and untag myself. Let's see here. Chris is pulling up pictures as we speak, but I'm not going to show any of them because I don't have permission from other people to show their do. faces. Um, but it was just, I mean, I, it was not flattering. Where are you? For um, I'm not in those. That's not it either. This is probably Yeah, that's it. it. The ones by, by, uh, by that guy. I'm not going to say his name. Yeah, I'm in like all of them. That's a good one of me. I'm actually smiling in it. But I was just in a Bingo. line of fire, and I didn't think Can about I tag? it. I'm going to tag The Rock. I'm going to tag The Rock with her. No, don't <laughs> tag anybody in them, Chris. That's the worst. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. You're the worst. The Rock? But anyways, that was my oh, beef. you tag The Rock. That's stupid. Facebook should not have auto-tagging. It should just not happen. That's going to tag? I tag myself. Can I only tag my friends? I think so. I think you can only tag people you know. Well, I follow Will Smith's page. I think it actually has to be a person and not a page. Man, that's unfortunate. I was going to try to tag Will Smith. Dude, what if, like, that'd be crazy oh. if you actually checked it. That's an unflattering picture of me right there that Chris is showing. But it was just, it was a, it was great ceremony. For the kids, congratulations well, it's like to all I'm of the a graduates. Horror film. All these pictures are flashing by. Ah, uh, then the Whoa. monster's gonna jump out of my screen if it loaded properly. It's Whoa, like watch it. out! The pictures yeah, will they'll start, start moving. moving. Yeah. That movie Sinister. No, I didn't know what happened in Sinister. I, don't, I haven't I seen it. I had a guy that went to college with. He watched it and said it. This what happened. So. I only know that it had the moving pictures because it was in the previews. And they were on the YouTube ads at the time. I was watching a lot of YouTube videos. Gotcha. It happens in the book. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, didn't I still read haven't watched the movie. I've owned the movie for like seven months and haven't watched it. Lucas, but how many movies do you have in your drawer that you haven't watched that, yet? I literally have them sitting on top of my Xbox to watch. And instead, I watched an entire season of Barry and three seasons of my hero academia so <laughs> but at least those are things you haven't like seen already i would have been and half a season of deadwood but that was like three weeks ago i would have been more upset had you watched something you'd watched like a bunch of times yeah i did rewatch all three austin powers one night <laughs> <laughs> What the heck, Lucas? Lucas, you need to meet some people in Lexington. So, well, I've been out of school. So, like, during the week, I've had a lot of free time in the evenings. So, it's been nice. I've watched a lot of stupid stuff. You know what I need to watch? I want to go watch Brightburn, and I want to go watch Godzilla, King of the Monsters. 
I do want to watch Godzilla King of the Monsters. Chris has seen it. Is it good? Monsters fight. What do you what, what do you Yeah. Want? That's all I need. What do you guys think of the like the reboot Godzilla? Do you think it was good? So it's another movie I've owned for like two years that I never watched. Have you still not seen it? You didn't see it no. in the theaters? No. I went and seen yeah. it in theaters. It was really good. What did you Everyone think of Kong Skull Island? Like, I loved Kong Skull Island. Oh, yeah. Kong it's was fantastic. good, too. I thought the first Godzilla was really good. The one thing I always heard was that it wasn't enough Godzilla. It tried to focus too much on the people. See, I like that. That's always kind of no. That's not a. Well, that's no, not a Godzilla aim. movie. <laughs> no, it, I, for me it wasn't too much. For me, it was it was only gonna be like the the I forget what kind of monster they called the bad thing. It wasn't Mothra. Um, in the first one. Yeah. I don't know. It was almost like a bat. But it was Godzilla. Rodan. And, do what? Rodan. No, it wasn't Rodan. Rodan's in the new one. He's the pterodactyl. I don't yeah. remember what the monster in the first one's called, first, uh, but there's only two of them, so you can only have so much fight time. But I thought they set up everything really well. Um, Quicksilver was in it. Um, the the Marvel Quicksilver, not the Fox Quicksilver. Elizabeth Olsen was in it. That played Scarlet Witch. Brian Cranston. I thought it was great. I thought everything about it was good. And then Kong Skull Island was great, and I'm mm-hmm. pumped for this one too. I need to watch it though. Yeah, I want to watch it. I may go. I might try to go watch it this weekend if I have time. Do it. I'm gonna go watch Old Crow Medicine Show this weekend for my birthday. Oh, sick! That'll be fun. It will be. It'll be great. Um, I have no Muto? more topics. Do you all have any more topics? Is his name Muto? Muto. That's what it. was. Chris, you coming in with a save? And there's a male Muto and a female Muto. There is a dude. There's a mammoth. There's a woolly mammoth titan in this movie. Dude, don't spoil it. I didn't know that. Wait, is that? Um, I, I want to ask more questions, but I also don't. That wasn't in the previews. I wish there was all of them were in there because there's a bunch of these that look cool. Where are you looking at all the Titans? Wikizilla.org. Mm, I might go look at that in a little bit. I probably just got a bunch of viruses. Well, then your your laptop is about to cl- like collapse in on like itself. Methuselah. I don't know. That's a lame name for one. Oh, I'm really old. That's what I was about to make the joke of. Is that the whole thing behind it? Maybe that was I the don't... first one. Maybe this well, is the first I've... Titan. Internet's no. No. uh Are you sure? Baphomet? Why is there one called Baphomet? That's the... That's the devil. I know. He's not in the movie, I don't think. Oh. We got I... the, the three-headed one. King Ghadira. Yeah. And then Rodan's the pterodactyl, and then Mothra. What's the turtle's name? I think the turtle is Methuselah. Yeah, because uh, it's real old. Yeah. It is the center of the universe. It creates everything. So it is the first Titan. Well, that's that was a mm, reference. Okay. Because well, it is actually a giant turtle that's out in space that they have to go kill or something like that. It's been a while since I read the book. It gets a little trippy towards the end. My God. <laughs> Either how... the turtle is the good guy or he's the one that they try to kill. I don't remember. Well, if he's a bad guy, I think he'd be easy to kill. He's a god. Kaylee and Mbembe. They showed one. They showed a map of them all where they're all located in the United States. And there was one located in Stone Mountain, Georgia. I was like, that's too close. There's a Titan located in Stone Mountain, Georgia? That's cool. Which yeah. one? I don't know. Huh. It wasn't King Kong. So they're all like, oh, all the Titans are here. Oh, he's... And then King Gadara was like, oh, he's calling all the Titans. And then, like, I guess King Kong was like, I'm just going to sit this one out. Well, he's on Watch. an island. He can't... He, he's swimming this way. It's going to take no, a little would, bit. No, if, once you watch the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay. Yeah. He's like, nah, I was just... Uh, Wait for the next uh, next one to show up. Thanks. Okay. Did well, you... before you spoil any more of it, we need to like transition off that topic. Yeah. I need to watch Kong Skull Island. I guess Kong yeah, Skull Island is really good. good. Um, I like it a lot. I think I have it. Well, I, <laughs> you, I mean, you probably you you still have your fire stick, so you can watch it there. 
You know, I mean, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyways, that'll probably be the next movie review we do, I guess, if we all see it in time. Yeah. I'm, I'm Is like, it Native Survivors on Netflix? But I think this is probably a good amount of time to go. We're at 54, 55 minutes. So, yeah. Um, thank you guys for listening. Hopefully you had fun. Hopefully you didn't mind us talking about how old some actors were and how good stuff was on Netflix. You should like the how good stuff Netflix is because then we've, we've already told you, hey, it's pretty good. You should watch it. So that's helpful. Also, PSA, adopt your pets. Don't buy them. Also, spay and neuter. Spay and neuter. Um, that's all the Do what you want to do. That's that's oh, Lucas's PSA. Go wild. No I need rules. to watch more of the Take Great British Baking off. Show. Wait, what'd you say? More what show? I need to watch more of the Great British Baking Show. I've watched a little bit of that. It's pretty good. Yeah, that show's I also, so freaking good. I also started watching this show called Flinch. It's an Irish show. Yeah, I hated that show. <laughs> I it's different. I try to I she try to see if I could handle it. It uh, so I watched it expecting it to kind of be like Fear Factor, and it's like a the the knockoff version. It's like Walmart it's brand. Like, it's like the Wipeout version of Fear Factor. Yeah, but it's not even as good as Wipeout. I mean, well, like the stupidness of Wipeout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was very disappointing, and I also didn't think any of the judges or the like main people. None of them were very funny. I was disappointed. Also, I didn't know any of them. At least on Greatest Great British Baking Show, I knew Mighty Boosh. Good Lord, The Dark Knight's on Netflix? Yep. Chris is just reading the the lot, like the backlog of Netflix. It's so hopefully the, you enjoyed this episode. A really good movie on Netflix is In Bruges. You should go watch that it. That movie's so good. I need to watch, watch it. I've watched oh, part of it. I love that movie. I just love Voldemort yelling insults at people. It's amazing. Yeah. It's so funny. It's got Colin Farrell, and then I forget who the, his, his his like partner is. Brendan Gleeson. Yeah. yeah. Man, and I'm if really... you like that movie, then you should watch Barry on HBO. <laughs> so. Lucas is really like striving for that H- HBO sponsorship. Dude, Barry is so good. It's it's so good. Okay, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Hopefully we've been better. Hopefully we've been better than Static. And we will catch you guys next week. Bye. Hey, what's going on, Carrington? Hey, 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 Kyle. Nothing. Uh, what, what's that? What do you listen to? Only listen to the greatest ending gaming podcast of all time. Real Dudes Podcast. Hold on, hold on. Real Dudes Podcast? Yeah, you heard me right. Real Dudes Podcast. The greatest place to find indie reviews, interviews with developers, composers, journalists, and so much more. What? What? Oh, hold on, hold on. Where can I listen to Real Dudes Podcast? They have a website at realdudespodcast.com or even your favorite podcasting apps such as iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, Podbean, and much more. Okay. Well, now that I know about Real Dudes Podcast, I am canceling all of my plans. I'm skipping work, and I'm going to just go and listen to them. Dude, that's what I did. Real Dudes Podcast, the greatest indie gaming podcast of all time.